A LOCAL FAMILY'S PLEA FOR HELP IS BEING ANSWERED TONIGHT BY SOMEONE THEY'VE NEVER EVEN MET. LAST NIGHT, WE TOLD YOU ABOUT TIM AND LYDIA GALLAGHER'S FACEBOOK POST ASKING FOR HELP FINDING AN IRREPLACEABLE MEMENTO AFTER SOMEONE STOLE IT. THEY THOUGHT IT WAS GONE FOREVER. NOW TONIGHT, KSMT NEWS REPORTER DAN GARRETT IS LIVE IN THE STUDIO TO EXPLAIN THE UNEXPECTED TWIST. THAT'S NEW AT 10. Brooke, the Gallagher family had a plate with their stillborn son's hand and footprint on it stolen from their home. Now, the plate was made through a special program at the hospital, and the woman who made the plate had never met the family. But once she had heard what had, that it had been stolen, she knew she had to reach out to the family. After Tim Gallagher's home was broken into, he took to Facebook, pleading for the thieves to return a ceramic plate with their stillborn son Noah's hands and footprints. He was worried that he would never see the prints again until he checked his phone before bed. Pulled it up and saw that um, someone had found the lady that had done the original plaque. That lady is Tammy Lechleiter. She made the plaques as a way to make money to support her family. It was just more like a just a calling. Tammy's daughter-in-law told her about the Gallagher situation, so she decided to check her closet. Tammy made duplicates of her work in case one of them broke. Sadly, she recently got rid of nearly all of her copies, except for four. I got rid of most everything, and I reached up and grabbed, there were four plates on top, and it was the third one down. She says it was because of everyone's prayers that she still had the plaque. I took a picture of it, sent it to my daughter-in-law, and said, you're probably going to make somebody very happy. And the Gallaghers were. We, we shed some tears, tears of joy. Um, it was just disbelief. What started out as tragedy has now almost come full circle. Thank you. God bless you. Now what's incredible about that story is Tammy had that plaque hidden away in her closet for over 10 years, and it was still there when she went to look for it. Live in the studio, Dan Garrett, KSMT News. Just a truly incredible story. Thank you so much, Dan. Now, that plate is a little bit different than the original. It has just one hand and footprint instead of both, so the family is still asking if anyone knows where the original plate is to please come forward. Now, I do want to say that tonight the Silver Lake Police Chief said that if you do know where that plate is and you were to bring it into the police station, they will absolutely ask you no questions. So that is also another way to get the plaque returned.